It's summertime. It's extremely hot here in Tugegarao City. One of the common illnesses we experience during this time is heat exhaustion. How do we deal with it? What are the things to do to prevent heat exhaustion? Now, we will present 8 ways to prevent heat exhaustion. Please be guided accordingly with these guidelines. As you stay at home, stay at home, stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you. So how do we apply sunscreen? Apply liberally and evenly on the face before sun exposure and then reapply as needed or after prolonged sun exposure. So why do we need sunscreen? Because sunscreen has a formula that it strengthens the skin defense system um, while preventing accelerated premature skin aging, um, sunburn, and especially skin cancer. Wearing clothing that is suitable for extreme heat will make a difference in how you feel and how you manage during the day. The type of clothing you wear affects how well air can circulate over your skin as well as allowing heat moisture to evaporate. If sweat cannot evaporate your skin, then both skin temperature and discomfort increase. Make sure to wear as little clothing as possible when you are at home. Opt for lightweight, light colored, and loose fitting clothing. Flowing garments allows air circulation and light colored fabrics reflect light and heat. This will keep you cooler. Use natural fiber fabrics. Cotton, linen, and skill work best in absorbing sweat and allow skin to breathe. Synthetic fibers retain heat and absorb sweat, increasing your body temperature. Avoid dark colored, heavy restrictive fabrics and clothing. Avoid black clothing with long sleeves. Wear light colored or loose fitting clothes. And if you will go out, wear a hat and cover yourself. Drink a lot of water daily, drink at least 8 glasses of water, fruit juice, or vegetable juice every day. This will normalize our blood pressure, stabilizing our heartbeat, aiding digestion, and will keep us more hydrated and healthier. Don't forget to drink a lot of water daily here! Heat exhaustion, heat stroke, Seizures and even death can be a result of severe dehydration. Exercising raises body temperature, which is then reduced by sweating. Your body won't be able to cool itself adequately if it isn't properly hydrated. When you are physically engaged, we make fluid replacement a priority. Drinking water will help you retain your concentration and performance, boost your endurance, and avoid dangerously high rates and body temperatures. It's all about getting enough water. It's essential to stay hydrated whether you're a fitness buff or merely exercising for fun. Hydration applies to drinking enough water before, during, or even after exercises. Exercise prepare our body and maintain it to keep it stronger. It is so important that you still want to exercise even on a hot weather. I have a good solution for you. Drink more water or eat more food that are concentrated with electrolytes. They can be found on salt, potassium, calcium, chloride. Electrolytes are minerals in your body that have electric charges. The purpose of electrolytes is to balance the amount of water in your body and the pH levels. So even you lose the water by sweating, you won't experience heat exhaustion by drinking more water or eating more foods with electrolytes. Number six, schedule your outdoor activities during non-peak times. When we say peak times, that usually means that the sun is out. And with warm weather, a unique set of heat illnesses arise. 
That is why we need to schedule our outdoor activities like walking, playing, and jogging during non-peak times. We can do this by simply looking at the clock and looking outside to check if it is already good to go. The color of our urine indicates dehydration. And remember that dehydration is caused by the extreme weather or hot weather. Due to the increase of temperature here in our city, dehydration can occur anytime. And the color of a urine indicates dehydration. The color of the urine that indicates dehydration is dark yellow. So it means that you must drink water in order to get hydrated. So in these times of an increase of temperature, in these times to prevent heat exhaustion, make sure your urine is light colored by drinking water. Avoid fluids that contain alcohol. Yes, alcohol can cause you to experience heat exhaustion which leads to dehydration. Alcohol is diuretic. It causes your body to remove fluids from your blood through your renal system like your kidney at a much bigger rate than other liquids. And so, if your vices is drinking alcohol, just drink moderately. But as much as possible, drink a plenty of water every day to stay dehydrated, to stay healthy during this summertime. Hello once again. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something to prevent heat exhaustion. Let's all prevent heat exhaustion by following those guidelines. Let's beat the heat and be safe, everyone. Thank you and God bless.